Hey, what's up guys? This is Coach Zach with Chuck Town Fitness. I'm here today to move your bodies. Moving your bodies is very important. It makes you feel better, feel stronger, you're healthier, helps you better in school. Exercise is important, okay? We're gonna move your bodies. I'm gonna stretch you guys out first. We're gonna get loose and then you need a couple things. All you need today is a chair. If you have a chair and then you need a little pad of paper and a pencil because we're gonna go through a little challenge and I think you guys are gonna like it, okay? All right, but let's start by moving your bodies a little bit. So we're gonna stretch out. Grab your parents. Parents, if you want to work out, that'd be awesome to do today. Move your bodies. Helps clear your mind, right? Okay, let's start by stretching. It's always important to warm up and loosen your body up. So we're going to spread our feet out. Getting started here. Spread your arms out long, okay? We're going to take your opposite hand to your opposite toe. Very simple. Legs need to stay straight. Arms straight. We're going to touch your toe. Stand up tall. Very simple. Touch your toe, stand up tall. So you guys are just gonna follow after me and stretch, stand up tall, and stand up tall. Very good, very good. Let's just keep moving, keep moving. How about four more? Here we go, there's one. Good, two, and three, and four, all right. Hey, next thing, guys, these are very simple, basic moves, but it's a good way to get your blood flowing, okay? Next exercise, we're gonna do the high knee march. So the high knee is here, and you wanna think about keeping your body very still and driving those knees up. And we're just alternating, it's the high knee march. This is gonna loosen up your hips and your legs, and again, get the blood flowing, right? All right, we're doing our high knee march. Looking good, feeling good, getting the blood flow. Let's keep moving. Let's get 10 right now. One, two, good, count it out. Three, four, five, six, almost there, seven. What about three and two and one? All right, next exercise, basic arm circles. I hope you guys may have done these before, but we want stiff arms. Now I want to get 10 arm circles to the front and then we do 10 to the back. So let's think about medium to large circles, real long, loosen those shoulders up, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Feel a little tingle, a little burn in your shoulders, good. And let's go backwards, nice and long. We're getting the blood flow. The more blood flow you have, the better you feel, the better your body functions. Good, let's get a few more. What about four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, swing it out. Swing it out. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna do your, uh, what's gonna do? A walkout. Let's do a walkout push up. No push up, actually, today. Let's just do a walk up. I wanna have your legs straight, perfectly straight. You're just gonna come all the way down and touch the ground, okay? And now let's walk it all the way out to the push-up position, and then let's walk it back up. And the challenge, guys, is to try to keep your legs stiff. You can't bend your legs. That's the challenge. Let's get five right now, okay? Follow me, legs stiff, and we'll walk it out. Good, legs stiff, and walk it back up, stand up tall. Let's get five total. That's number two. Good, very good. Here's number three. Walk it back up, stand up tall. We've got two more. All the way out. That's four. Last one, guys. Leg stiff. Boom. All the way back up. Very nice. Just enough to get your heart rate moving just a little bit, okay? Two more warm ups, all right? The warm up should get your heart rate up, it should get you breathing kind of heavy but you're still comfortable. You're not too uncomfortable. Just feeling a little bit better. The next one is to loosen your shoulders up some more. It's called the caveman. So arms start at the side, palms right at your side, and you're gonna go like this, one arm up, one arm back, and let's alternate. That's the caveman. When you come back, you wanna try to get this arm right by your ear. Can you do that? Nice and long. Good. Let's get 10. One, two, Three, excellent. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's the caveman. Good, good. Let's just move your neck around. Loosen that neck up. All right, let's finish, guys. Finishing our warm up with our jumping jacks. Easy breezy. We're gonna do jumping jacks. Everybody knows how to do the jumping jack. So here we go. Let's count out 20. One, two, three, very good. Four, five, six. Mom and dad, are you moving? Mom and dad, are you moving with us? Nine and 10. Let's get 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, guys, you've warmed up. Feeling good, feel your heart, guys. If that heart's pumping, that's a good thing. That's a great thing. We want that heart, that muscle to pump, okay? All right, so here, guys, we're gonna talk about this challenge. If you can see, the timer is set for one minute. We have three exercises, all right? I'm gonna explain each exercise, and then we're gonna go through the challenge, all right? So, the three exercises that we're doing, we're gonna start with your push-ups. When the timer starts, okay, we're gonna do our push-ups for one minute. The max number of push-ups that you can do in one minute. All right, this is kind of fun. We're gonna take that number, you gotta count in your head how many you get, and you're gonna write it down on your piece of paper. All right, here's the push-up. Guys, you can do this push-up on your toes, all the way down to where your chest touches the ground and up. That's a full push-up, down and up. If you need to drop to your knees, that's called an assisted push-up, and that's perfectly fine. On your knees, your backside stays down, so you don't want your backside out. You want your backside down, and you're going to all the way down to your chest touches and up, down and up. So you can do this on your toes, or you can do it on your knees for an assisted push-up. So again, we're gonna count how many push-ups we can get in one minute, okay? The next exercise is the squat. Now this is where it's good to have a chair, okay? So we've got a chair because to do a good squat, your backside has to go out, just like you're sitting down in a chair, so that's why it's good to have a chair. So to do the squat, I'm gonna show you from the side. I want your arms straight out, okay? Your chair's behind you. You're gonna reach your backside out to where your backside touches the chair and then up. Backside goes out, touch the chair, and up. So if I was gonna do it and get in a rhythm, it would look like this, right here. Reach, you have to touch every time, and then up, okay? We're gonna write down, when the timer starts, we'll write down how many squats that you get in a minute. The max number of squats. The last exercise that we're doing in our big challenge is the sit-up. Guys, these are big basic movements that everybody can do. The more you do them, the better you're gonna get. So the sit-up is where you're laying all the way on your back. We're gonna use our arm for a moment. So you can swing those arms and sit up and then all the way back. Sit up, all the way back. That's the sit-up. Throw those arms forward. If it's too much of a challenge to have your knees bent, let's go ahead and straighten your legs. Straighten your legs and do your sit-up. It makes it a little bit easier, all right? So let's review this one more time. We have one minute of push-ups, one minute of squats, one minute of sit-ups. The timer's gonna start. We're gonna have a 30-second break in between each set, and you're gonna write down your number on your piece of paper. And then you're gonna add those three numbers up for your max score. You can compare it to your parents, see who wins. You can compare it to your friends, let everybody know how you did, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. So get your pen, get your paper, make sure you have your chair, make sure everything's ready. In a second, we're gonna start this clock and we're gonna do one minute of push-ups. So I got my timer here. I'll remind you, but you can see the timer right there. I'm gonna set this here and we're gonna get ready to get started. Are you ready? Get ready in the push-up position. All right, guys, push-up position. We're going to start off. One minute. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's get max push-ups in one minute. How many can you get? Six. Good. Keep moving. Stay with me. Good. 
good 16s. Keep your body moving. Do the best you can. If you have to take a break, that's okay. We're halfway, guys. Halfway there. Good. Keep moving. Are your arms feeling strong? Are you feeling in your arms and your chest? We have 14 seconds. We're almost there. Almost five seconds. Oh, all right. 30 second rest, guys. Looking good. I'm gonna write my number down. Write your number down. Write that number down. Good. Take advantage, shake it out. Shake it out, big deep breath. We got 12 seconds. We're getting ready to go into our squats. You feel your heart? Your heart rate racing? Good. Good. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to do our squats. And go. Touch the seat. Stand up. There's two. Three. Good. Keep your body moving. Five. Six. Push your backside out. And touch. That's ten for me. How many can you get? Good. 19. There's 20. We got 30 seconds. 23. You got to touch every time. 25. Good. I'm at 30. 15 seconds. Almost there. 35. Your heart's pumping, right? Oh, I got it in. I got 40. 40. All right, write it down, guys. Take your break. Almost there. Guys, this is a quick, easy way to get your blood flowing and to get a quick workout anytime. In the morning, afternoon, in the evening. We got 10 seconds. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Ready? All right, have a seat. Get on the ground. We got three seconds, we got sit-ups. Last thing is roll. Come on guys, and sit up. Good, good. Max sit-ups, max sit-ups, good. Good. That's 10 for me. Come on, come on. There's 15. Almost there. Woo! That's 20. 20 seconds left. Come on. Ten seconds. Twenty-nine. Come on. your number down guys write that number down I had 32 how did y'all do so I'm gonna add mine up take your time let's add them up all right so here if you take a look how did you do so I've got mine right here I've got mine right here I don't know if you can see that if it's backwards or not but we got push-ups is 40 squats 40 sit-ups 32. So my total score is a hundred or yeah, 112. 112. What's your score, guys? Guys, it's easy to move your bodies. Doesn't take very long. That was a workout. We warmed up a little bit, did a little work for three minutes, five or six minutes of total hard work. You can do it anytime, mom and dad. You can do it anytime. It's a great thing to do with your kids. Guys, challenge your buddies. Let them know what your score is. Challenge your friends. Keep working hard. We appreciate you. Take care.